Today, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of buying physical gold and silver. Stick around. So yes, I stack precious metals. I know that this isn't gun related, but a prepper mentality often follows those who collect and store guns and ammunition. So in this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of buying physical gold and silver. Just real quick, if you like today's video and would like more videos on this channel about gold and silver, please let me know in the comments or give the video a like. This is primarily a gun channel and I'm not going to know if you want more of this stuff unless you tell me. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. So I started buying PMs or precious metals about two years ago and it can get a little daunting. If you're not familiar with the gold and silver market, my first bit of advice is to research historical gold and silver prices. The last thing you want to do is decide that you're going to buy a thousand dollars worth of whatever and then just pull the trigger. You need to do your research to help you to understand when the right time might be to make your purchase. So pros and cons. The most obvious pro to buying gold and silver is that it allows you to have fat stacks of bling, yo! That's, that's true, but that's not why you buy it. If it is, then maybe that's because you have a ton of money and you just want to spend it and be flashy. Not my style, personally, and I, have, and I buy it to have security for the future as a small portion of my overall investments. They say that if you're gonna buy gold and silver, don't let it be more than 10 to 15% of your overall investment, and I find that a good range to live by. <clears throat> Another pro is that you have an asset that you physically hold. It's not like owning stocks or bonds, having a 401k, or even having large savings in the bank. <clears throat> if the financial industry went belly up today and you lost everything, you'd still have this physical gold and silver as a backup. You know, you can do whatever you want with it. One more pro is that it looks good. It has an aesthetic value beyond just the melt value. Here's a, um, a one ounce gold buffalo. I mean, you just look at some of this stuff and this is one of my personal favorites here. It's a $10, I'm sorry, a 10 ounce $100 Canadian coin. This thing is just massive and it's just fun to hold. Then you have some of these larger bars, like this 100 ounce silver from the Royal Canadian Mint. I mean, nothing says that you're a silver stacker more than having a giant seven pound silver block on hand. And then you have the, you know, the gold, like here, there's almost nothing that's currently minted that's more majestic than the one ounce American gold eagle. Look at that. Excuse my fingernails. These things are nice. And then you have, if I can find it here, this 1947 50 pesos coin from Mexico. It's pretty cool also. It actually weighs about 1.2 ounces. And the funny thing is that 1947 was the last year that they made the die for this coin. And then they continued to make the coin for about 25 years after with the 1947 date. So you don't know actually when this coin was made. But there are cons to get into this also. First of all, like anything that gets your heart pounding, this can be an addiction. It may seem silly, but you get that first shipment of physical gold or silver and you immediately want to buy more. You have to know when you have enough. If you can't afford to buy it, don't go spending your rent money on gold or silver. This is an investment and you invest with what's left over, not with what you need. Secondly, the market is always changing. You may think that buying 100 ounces of silver at 16 bucks an ounce is a great deal, and then the value drops to 14 bucks an ounce and you're sitting on a $200 negative asset. You have to be prepared for the ups and downs of the market. So, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, I'll be happy to make more videos in the future. I can talk about more things like where to buy gold and silver, how to store your precious metals, the differences bet between troy ounces and avoirdupois or avoirdupois ounces, or whether buying precious metals is even right for you. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all the love. God bless you and have a great day.